Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, and welcome to the finale of the Super Mario Land 2 LP. Now, I'm sure you guys are noticing, I have roughly half the lives I had before. Half. Um, we're gonna go back up to the castle, and I'm gonna explain to you something. I tried, and I tried, and I failed so many times, and I got frustrated, so I went and I got, uh, the carrot. And I'm just gonna blaze through the stage this time. <laughs> I, I can get through the stage, but here's the problem, is I've gotten to Wario a couple times, and I lost, and I can deal with that. Truly, I can. And up and over, up and over, come on. It's very hard, because every time you land, you just jump again with this cap. Um, anywho. I can handle losing, it happens, but there, you, you've got to beast mode it. You get to Wario and you die, you start clear over. So, we're just going to power through the stage, over that wrecking ball, dodge that one, duck under it, up and over Audrey 2. We'll go through the easy room. Nothing to worry about with this one. Run past. Baseball slide. Now right here, you would get either a mushroom or a fire flower, depending upon where you're at. We're not taking that. We're keeping the cap, and it's not even for this portion, it's for an upcoming portion. This is one of the two sections of the game I find ridiculously hard. Now, once the game itself is over, I might splice in, proving I can go through it without the wings. You just got time at one, two, three. Come back. One, two, three, it comes out. Okay. See, I would have died right there if I didn't have the ability to hover. Now, you, I, I can run and jump over these easy, but one panel on each of these uh, has a uh, boxing glove trap that comes down with a spiked fist with a big old W on it. And here's right here, this is why, and I just said screw it, I'm done. Because I would invariably get to the very last one panic and not get enough momentum and fall in the acid, and I said, I'm done. I'm just done with that. So anywho, you got one more of these hallways. This time the little piranha plant that spits fireballs is inactive. Uh, these are easy. I panicked a little bit, and I was like, I could have just run through them. They just, I, I think they all ascend very slowly, like that. They, um, they might not all do it. I think some descend, but I usually keep going pretty quick. Right here, all you gotta do is run. Just go. Just run, run, run. Don't let go of the B button. Keep tearing it up. Those can never hurt you as long as you don't stop running. Then you get to these guys. They're not scary. Just jump on their head. You have uh, three rooms of these. These things with Wario's face on them. Get to the next room, and try to time it. Try to time it. Okay. Try to separate them. It's doable. It's not super easy, but it is doable. If you can divide and conquer, do it. Try to take out one for- oh, shit. Okay, I guess I don't need it anymore. It's fine. It's fine. i still got the mushroom. That's really all I need. This one will come back at us. As long as I can keep the mushroom, I'm fine. Okay, we're good. You got one more room of these guys. These ones are synced up a little bit better. Try and divide and conquer. I don't know how. I just brushed the one. I don't know how it didn't hurt me. I'll take it. Take him out, and then you just got one more. Don't panic. Done. Alright, there you go. Then we just carry on. We get one more fire flower. Or a mushroom, if you made it to this point without anything else. And here we go. There he is. Wario. Who is ridiculously big in this game, and it's his first appearance. Uh, let's see. Can you firebomb? Can you firebomb? Can you firebomb? No. Okay, just jump on his head. Just jump on his head. Oh, boy. One more of those, and he's done. Try and be in the air. Yeah, because um, if you're on the ground and he does that little ground pound, you're stunned. They give us a carrot. Uh, should we take it? Now, nah, so with the fire flower. We don't need the fire. We don't need the carrot. Flying doesn't really help, because he flies here. Alright. Now, he will get over you, and then he'll drop. Careful, those, uh, I don't know what those are supposed to be falling from the ceiling, but they will hit you and they will hurt you. Just try to get on the statue. Just get on the statue. He will keep hurting himself. That's the easiest way for this phase. One more. One more. Guys, my heart's pounding. We got this. Get the mushroom. And he has the fire flower now. He can use all the same power-ups we can. Just jump over it. Jump on his head. Get in the corner as far as you can, jump over it, jump on his head, get away, 
jump on his head. And we did it. That's it. Wario shrinks down to a tiny Wario. And he's a little crybaby about it. And... He chucks one of his shoes at us. At least I think that's supposed to be his shoe. And then we've sieged the castle, and it belongs to us yet again. And we're gonna change... Um, I, I, I still love that motion blur effect. Apparently we're gonna brighten it up, make it a happier place. We're getting rid of the W for Wumbo, for, with an M for Mini. Beautiful. And that's the end of the game. Oh boy. Um, not the hardest game in the world. It's actually really easy until you get to this stage. They just, it's ball-bustingly difficult when you get to the end of it. But, uh, it was fun. I, I can't believe the first trilogy I've completed on the channel out of sequence, mind you, was Mario Land. But that's alright. So yeah, shout out to my buddy Sam. Uh, DiCambrio's album, Hail to the Liar's Throne, is out. I will have linked every single, like, thing I can for places to download it, and if they did physical, I'll link for that, because I'm a whore for physical medium myself. But that's going to be all for this one, so I'll let the credits roll, and thank you everybody for watching it. Until next time.